Yo, what is happening, guys? And welcome back to the Unspeeded Action Channel. Today, we're back with another reaction. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reacting to a video I actually uploaded on my vlog channel, uh, which is 10 Things I Cannot Live Without. And I uploaded this probably almost two years ago. Probably February 2022 will be two years or so. This was not a serious 10 things I can't live without. This was literally a joking one, a skit one. I made up on the spot. I literally improvised. I didn't write a script. I was just like, oh, fuck it. Let me just have fun. Let me just try to make myself laugh a bit and get content out of it. Um, I'm going to expect that I'm going to cringe at a lot of this because it's like even looking back like a year ago, I just uh, cringe at a lot of shit that uh, I've done. I, I don't know. It's not the fact it's cringe, it's just like looking at yourself, it's just, I don't know. It's like, I feel like a lot of people do that. If somebody else does it, it's, it's not as bad, but if you do it, it's kind of, it's weird. But uh, yeah, one thing just before we start as well, like I said, I got recommended this. If you enjoy this and you want to see me react to more shit, my videos even, if you want to see me react to more of my own videos that I created and just talk about my fraud process and all that, just react to it. Or any videos that are not relating to my actual content, there is literally a link below that you can click and it will take you to a playlist I have on this channel that anybody who clicks that link has access and it gives permission for you to post in, which means you can post as many videos as you possibly want for me to react to. It means if you post it in there, each time I check that playlist, it will show up, it will show me who posted it, and it means I can, it's there for when I uh, want to react to it, and I can upload it. Makes it easy for me, makes it easy for you. Click the link, make it easier for everybody. And that, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into this pin. Exactly. Wow. I don't know if we're gonna have, I think we're gonna have to mute that. Why did I? Oh yeah. <laughs> you ever picture me about a snapback we just we go together like glue it's the same like, snapback about the snapback is like batman with like dead parents it just doesn't go together or it does oh yes i forgot that <laughs> oh god i forgot to say this by the way just to make this clear i improvised this on the spot i just said everything off my head i didn't like write a script the acting is supposed to be bad by the way like it's supposed to be because obviously a lot of people probably watch this and be like, your acting's bad. Like, the jokes are not funny. This, my comedy here is, it's the acting is supposed to be so poor. And the jokes are supposed to be so dead that it's funny because of how awkward it is. That's the comedy here, by the way. It's not actually, the video itself is not actually supposed to make you laugh. It's the awkwardness of the video and the terrible acting that's supposed to make you laugh. I just want to clear that up. Because people actually think that I'm this bad at acting. Or I just, these are like, you know, sh my actual comedy. Like, it's supposed to be bad, you know what I mean? But, I don't know how I'm saying this. But the point is, I'm Batman. That's my dead parts. See, it's just, it's so stupid, you're like, that's not funny, bro. Uh, <laughs> that's the point. This is my substitute. I have it over there. Have, you you know, can't even see it. I have it over there. I, I was blessed with a great face, nor was I blessed with a great forehead, as you can That is facts. But, that's my on forehead. the other side, if you would add the inches from my forehead to my rating, I'd go from a 1 to an 11. Still prefer not to have a big forehead, though. Well, we don't get everything we want in life, so like, you know... It's so, like, awkwardly cringy, but that was my intention, but now I'm regretting it. Bandana. Bandana. <laughs> Dude, it was cool. no, it's like, it was supposed to be so awkward, like, that it makes it funny. And now I'm looking back, and I'm like, I see my intention, and now I'm looking at it laughing, but I'm also cringing at it at the same time. Ah, but it's like, it's supposed, I made it for the intention of you to cringe while watching it. Like, that was my intention, but now I'm watching it back, and I'm cringing, and be like, why did I do this? I made it for that exact reason, like, <laughs> god damn it. Everyone loves their phone. You can literally well, this is facts. anything on these things. You can text, you can play games, you can even search things up on Google. And just find the answer to yep. anything. Like, when was the World Wars? Unfunny. Why is the colour red, red? <laughs> How much would you make from an OnlyFans account? I, <laughs> I love the part. Why is the colour red, red? Well, it's a good point. Why is the colour red? Why is the colour red, not blue? Exactly. Like, it's just, it's just a simple thing. Um, I found it so funny. Like... The fact that I made that joke about showing the phone and then you obviously see the link. Um, you obviously know what it is. You see the link. And it's so funny because, you know, 
it's it's actually so funny because whenever I was like thinking about it, I was like, oh, I, I'll just do that joke. Do you know, like a really like stupid joke. I'll just do it. Whenever I was typing it in, it's funny because I, I realized that after I was typing it in, it came up the it auto filled, and I'm like, that was easy. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just some of the jokes, like some things are just perfect. What a cat. Why did I have a blanket up behind it for lighting, I guess? And the reason I got it for him is because he's been to so many shops and every single shop seemed to have been sold out. But picture this, when he gets back, us sitting in front of the fire, having a nice warm glass of vodka and just, you know, when he gets back, of course, it's perfect, perfect timing. Oh, I said warm this joke glass was supposed of vodka. to be done with milk, by the way, but I don't have it. <laughs> yes. That was a, that I made a shit joke even shitter, so I'm sorry. Yes! I remember that. I was literally like, I was sitting down, and I did the first few, and my thought process was, I was like, right, what's number four? The only things that were actually improvising this, by the way, was what the item was going to be. Everything I said, like, I did it, I said it on the spot, I thought it on the spot. The only thing that was actually planned was the uh, items listed, you know? And I originally had milk listed and I was like, oh, I'll just make a dad joke. And then the vodka came and I remember I went downstairs. I was like, shit, we don't have milk. And then I saw the bo my bottle of vodka and I'm like, you know what? I snatched it, walked upstairs, didn't even think about it, turned the camera on and I just made that joke. And then as I was like at the end of the joke, like my head just made me. I was like, this joke was supposed to be done with milk, by the way, but I don't have milk. I was like, like I just automatically did it, and I just think that that made it funnier because of how aware I was that yes, this this joke, this uh, joke does not make sense because it's supposed to be a milk joke, but I didn't have milk. <laughs> I just find it funny how like I felt the need to like point that out, like you know, I actually don't have milk in my house because I need to wear something on my feet when I go out, so. Pretty self-explanatory. Shoe. Yep. Oh. Now, these aren't even real. I just got them so I would stop getting beat up. Like, <laughs> I carry them in my pocket. So, you know when you're just walking casually down the street and a gang just pulls up and goes, we're going to twist you so bad into a pretzel that we're going to watch you eat your own ass? Yeah, we've all had that, right? So I carry these in my pocket. So <laughs> it's just, you can't hit a gap glasses. Going to make me my own ass? <laughs> No, 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 sir. There will be no acid <laughs> today. today for me. Thank you. That's so cringy, bro. What when it's is. like, it's so funnily cringy. Piece of equipment that I actually, the it's literally on the floor over there. Warmer. You know, for those cold nights in the winter, when it's so cold, your feet are numb, your dick is so small, it shriveled up inside. It doesn't need cold. to be cold. Like I the the joke is that it doesn't actually need to be cold for my dick to be shriveled up and that small. That was the actual and joke. Most important, so. the worst of all, your tongue is so cold it's like a popsicle. You switch this button. That is a problem. Your popsicle tongue is gone. Look. Dude, that tongue ain't cold no more. I was such a weirdo, bro. Do you know the thing is, I actually turned that on. By the way, like I turned the heating on. Um, I turned the heating on on that thing. And uh, it actually dried my mouth out. Like, there's no tomorrow. I did that. And see, afterwards, for like the next hour, I continued to go <clears throat> to clear my throat. And I could literally, like, it just, everything tasted dry. And it felt like, did you ever get like a bit of dust or like uh, fluff in the back of your throat? And you can taste it literally just like taste like dirty air, I guess. That's all I taste for like the next hour and a half after I continuously coughed. So... I was dumb. I was also broke. <laughs> it's not even a joke. It's this guy. It's not even the joke that makes me I was laugh. It's that guy. Lad, you know, that <laughs> and uh, you know, if you, if you don't know what wacky back is, basically. Oh yeah, I heard that. Uh, I only heard that saying for the first time when I was like twenty. I didn't know people called it wacky backy. You know, uh, but we we're smoking that. You know. For all we knew, the cops pulled up, so I decided... I'm actually sober, though, by the way. Like, you know, my drug my is Coca-Cola. live in prison that long. So I run. I got about four blocks, and I was found in a... Four blocks? That's so cases. American. And it turns out the entire time, it was just a stripper. My friends hired a stripper when I was high, because they thought it'd be funny. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that was an eventful moment. We had some... So cringy, bro. You know, I have these to show for it. I also have the chlamydia she gave me. <laughs> like, 
that's all. Forgot about that. that. That's beneficial, you know, because. I always think to yourself, when you leave people in your life, you gotta give them something or not to buy. And when I leave my current girlfriend, she'll always have the chlamydia to remember me. It's like Christmas, we're just giving our gifts. I forgot about that part. It's just the way you gotta give them something to remember them by. So anybody who sleeps with me, you know, like whenever they leave, they'll have chlamydia to remember me by. I mean, like, it's a fair point. They'll never forget you. You'll always be in their mind if you give them chlamydia. Um, but uh, don't, don't, um, don't get STDs. Don't catch STDs. You know, like, although was that 2019 Joshua was on to something, or 2020 Joshua, sorry, was on to something, uh, don't get STDs. Um, don't catch chlamydia. And if you do, don't attempt to give anybody chlamydia. You know, don't try to give anybody STDs that you have. Um, <laughs> he makes a fair point. But it's like, don't do that. <laughs> Just don't do that. This is the cringiest part. This is like the oh, this, this cringiest the part. part and it's band. like, obviously, I can't show you because it's exclusive. You got to pay for it. But if you do want to check that out, it's. <sighs> oh, God. By the way, and uh, yeah, this is the only place I feel that I can truly be myself. Oh, it's my just God. me in my girlfriend's lingerie with my phones of bands telling me that I'm a beautiful, <laughs> sexy butterfly. And it just, honestly. My girlfriend would never understand. Do you see what I mean? It's humour that you're literally sitting there like, what the fuck is happening? And it makes you awkward. But that's the funny part. It's not the actual video that's funny. It's how stupid and awkward the video is that makes you awkward that's funny. Like, I'm cringing. Like, my... My skin is crawling right now. I'm cringing so much, but that's funny to me because I made this. I made this video with an intention to do that to other people that watch it, and I'm watching it back. And I've literally, like, I've literally played the Uno reverse card. I've literally done it to myself. Like, I'm, I've, I'm pulled the fucking April Fools on myself. I just really hope. <laughs> oh God. Find the account. Yeah. I thought Should that. I thought that lagged it. there. Although, well, I hope she doesn't notice her underwear. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Bros. I should probably. There are, you know what I mean? I'm gonna phone her. Yeah, I'm gonna phone her. That would probably be the best way for to get a phone. Coke, yes! And lastly, yes. probably most importantly, Coke. A cola. I fucking love this drink. And I guarantee I do. you, all you out there thought I was talking about Coke. You know, Coke. <laughs> nah, that only Coke. comes out in important times, like parties, bar mitzvahs, sometimes. Who knows? <laughs> Everyone's just feeling down and glum at a funeral, as you obviously would. And, you know, you just whip out a bag. It goes from that within five minutes. The priest is snorting a line off the corpse's torso. So, all I'm saying is, if you get the opportunity, do it. Makes a great time for any work. This is, I'm actually realising how bad this is because I did it all this off the top of my head. If I had rewritten this, it actually wouldn't have been as bad. It's the fact, off the top of my head, I go, yeah, sometimes cocaine can be good at a funeral because, uh, you know, it'll just raise everybody's spirits. And then five minutes in, the priest or the minister or whatever you call him, the priest will just be sniffing a line off the corpse's body. That came off the top of my head. It wasn't written down. It wasn't prepared. That came off the top of my head like everything else in this video what is wrong with me? <laughs> because I haven't gotten any better. I've actually gotten worse. What is wrong with me? I've skipped the 606. Go. Of possession of illegal drugs, right? They'll, they'll know I'm joking, right? Oh, that's a plane? I thought I added music there to make it, like, intense. It's how long I took as well makes it even more awkward. It's amazing. <laughs> the funniest part about that, just one thing, is I obviously had my stool at the time, which I have a shirt now, but I had my stool at the time. And when I was sliding off, I actually almost fell. Like, see, even if I was sliding off there and I went like that, I like kind of went. I slid the tiniest little bit, but thankfully, like, I was already, like, halfway down, so I had the strength to, like, keep myself up. It didn't put me off balance. I actually, that almost ended up me slipping and falling off the stool, which I actually wish happened. So how funny that would have been if I literally just tried to, like, exit from the camera view, and I literally just, boom, 
There was no script. I said all those off the top of my head, so there was bloopers here. I forgot about that. Bandana. Oh, these aren't really... Okay. I actually thought I had bloopers. Okay, well, I know that I did a retake. Although, there, it was a waste of time. I did do retakes of a few of them. Like, the banda... No, they didn't do the banana one. There was one I did a proper retake of. No, that was it. That was fucking it. It was no the, the Volca one with the milk. A few days later, um, literally, I was supposed to be uploading this. I think I uploaded that on a Friday. I was uploading this, and I literally went to the shop. My mum asked me to get milk, and I literally remember saying to myself, Hey, I could actually do that milk joke for the uh, 10 things I want. I can't live without. And I was like, Hey, I could actually do that joke with the milk. And then, whenever I got home... The video was already edited, the thumbnail was already made and all like that. I didn't really want to change it. I didn't change it for three reasons. Number one, I was like, I don't really want to change it. Number two, I was like, I could do it. But I was like, it's. I think it's the fact that I don't have milk makes it funnier. I think it's the fact that I had to basically say I don't have milk for this joke. Like, such a simple thing, a carton of milk, I did not have it for, to make that joke. And I just, just was, I was just like, I could retake it and I could have the milk involved. Or I could keep it the way it was. Uh, the way I think it would be better. I did do that. I was going to redo the milk one. Um, yeah. And in that one where I like kind of went off the stool. That wasn't even like a blooper. I don't know why the fuck. Like I put that as a blooper. I don't know. But yeah. that uh, That's it. This video was probably like really long. I'm sorry. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really cringed at that. Like I said. If you have <clears throat> videos to recommend. Go to the link. Click it. Add them to the playlist, you know, and if you want me to react to more of my own videos from whatever time ago, literally add them to the playlist as well, and I will do reactions to them as well. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, smash the button. If you haven't yet already, obviously check out my vlogs, my gamer channel. Check out my gamer TikTok. I'll be posting all the best clips from my gamer videos on that TikTok as well. But as always, I hope you all are thinking positive, test negative. Hope you all are having an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. So, uh, fearless.